Brazil, the country of passion and festivities, located in the center of South America. Today on Heart to Heart, we have Brazilian ambassador to Korea, Luiz Fernando Seja, who is taking the lead in promoting various exchanges between the two countries ahead of the 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties. Let's learn about Brazil's various attractions as seen through his eyes. The country known for its natural wonders, the world's eighth largest economy, Brazil. Joining us today is Brazilian ambassador to Korea, Luis Fernando Seja. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here. Hello, everybody. I hope you will enjoy the show. Okay. Once again, thank you so much for joining us today on Heart to Heart. Uh, now, next year, 2019, marks the 60th anniversary of uh, diplomatic relations between Korea and uh, Brazil. Now, since establishing relations back in 1959, I understand that Korea is one of the 10 largest trading partners of Brazil. So I'd like to ask you uh, what happens to be the current or the main focus of Brazil uh, in terms of its relations with Korea? Well, at the beginning, trade was not important. Uh, the important thing was to receive uh, 50,000 Koreans mm -hmm. that look for a brighter future in Brazil. Yes. Um, and so they are well integrated. They are l working hard for the progress of my country, and we are very happy with them. Maybe soon we are going to have some Brazilian-Korean diplomat, some Brazilian-Korean general, I hope. Well, but today the, the main focus is uh, trade, mm -hmm. because uh, politically we always uh, go together. Yes. On, we all walk on the same direction. Yes. Now, I understand that in light of uh, the 60th anniversary next year, of course, um, a very special area, a special hall was created inside the embassy to promote Brazil. Uh, could you please tell us about the special hall? Yes. Um, it's uh, a hall called Brazil Hall, 340 meters, square meters, that we incorporated to our embassy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fit for exhibitions, seminars, uh, concerts, and um, we are the second exhibition uh, of paintings. And um, yes, it is something we are very proud of because it's the first uh, multifunctional hall mm -hmm. uh, of a Brazilian embassy in Asia. I remember that I, I was deputy in Berlin and, and uh, I was there when we inaugurated uh, something very close to, to what we have now in, in Seoul. Mm -hmm. But in Asia, I think it's the only one that we have. Yes, I heard that it's the uh, first time for the embassy to officially create such a space um, to, I guess, promote or, or a space that's related to arts and uh, these, these activities, cultural activities. Uh, could you maybe tell us about some of the exhibitions that have been running since the opening? Yes. Uh, we. Um, inaugurated this uh, space, this hall, in last f uh, April, mm -hmm. the 5th April, with an exhibition on photographs on the Rios Carnival, taken by the most famous photographer of Rios Carnival, who came to Korea for that purpose. I see. So uh, these photographs uh, give a, a good uh, a good impression of what is uh, Rio's Carnival and, and how lively it is. Uh, of course, uh, it's uh, only picture, but uh, and Rio's Carnival is more than picture. Is is uh, passion, is rhythm, mm. songs, and and uh, and dances. Yes. So, but uh, the the pictures, uh, I think that. Uh, are a good, uh, let's say, amuse girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are the second largest exhibition uh, dedicated to an artist that 
who discovered his talent mm -hmm. at the age of 70. Mm. And I like to say that he, is, uh, he epitomizes art because if art is life plus suffering, yes. he started producing art when he started suffering because his grandchildren were not living with him. Mm. And so this was the way for him to communicate with them. Yes. Actually, I, I think I know who you're talking about, Grandpa Chan. He's known yes, as Grandpa Chan. Yes, exactly. Um, and he was actually on our show previously, so I'm sure that uh, He's a our wonderful guy. that have watched the program know exactly who you're talking about. Yes, yes. yes. He's a real uh, bridge between Brazil mm -hmm. and Korea. Yes. Besides being a loving grandfather, mm -hmm. besides being a talent artist, he's a real precious bridge between Brazil and Korea. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we are waiting for proposals uh, coming from everywhere in order to keep up with this uh, high standard of exhibitions that we, we, we have had uh, since the inauguration of this uh, hall. <laughs> The Brazil Hall was built inside the Brazilian Embassy in Korea to mark the upcoming 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties between Korea and Brazil in 2019. From holding exhibitions, concerts and book publishing events, the Hall has been established to enrich the cultural exchanges between Korea and Brazil. These are all memories of uh, the artist uh, when he lived in, in Brazil. Uh, this is uh, a district in Sao Paulo where the Asian people are concentrated. They, this is called the Little Korea. Uh, this is a view of Sao Paulo by night. This is another view of Sao Paulo. This is my favorite, a view of Rio de Janeiro. It's a multifunctional space, and of course we want uh, to have every day some activity, um, maybe together with exhibition, art, with art exhibitions. And we, we can have a, a seminar on this place uh, while we, we have these paintings uh, on the walls. This is, uh, maybe it's even better than to not to have these paintings. Currently, an exhibition is being held at the smaller of the two rooms inside the Brazil Hall. There is a painting exhibition now, but they're planning to hold other conferences in the future. This is the place where, for instance, we had a meeting with uh, the ambassadors of uh, Latin America uh, on North Korea developments. Uh, we are going to have on the 20th and 21st a meeting uh, on Brazil, Brazil's opportunities of investment. And so, as I told you, uh, we, we have a lot of activities in these two rooms, the Brazil Hall and the conference room, and uh, I hope that this will continue forever. One can enjoy various exhibitions and visit the small Brazil inside Korea. We invite everyone to the Brazil Hall. Uh, I invite all Koreans to come to the Brazil Hall to witness uh, this big effort that the embassy is doing in order to put, uh, to bring uh, Brazil and Korea closer. Uh, the location is prime. Uh, it is really uh, in front of uh, the palace. And um, I think that they will enjoy it. And of course, the entrance is free. Now, I'd like to ask you a few questions about Brazilian culture. Now, the first thing that comes to mind um, for myself, 
and for many others, I assume, uh, when they think of Brazil, uh, they may think of the festivals and the carnivals, the Rio Carnival, for example. Um, and I heard that the exhibition was related to festivals as well. So what is the significance of these festivals to Brazilians? Well, uh, Rio's Carnival is considered the biggest show on earth. Mm. 40,000 people parading in magnificent outfits. Mm -hmm. It's something that you don't find everywhere. And in, in Rio, in Brazil, in Brazil you only find in Rio. And in Rio you only find this during Carnival, uh -huh. the four days of Carnival. Uh -huh. It contributes to the economy of the city of Rio de Janeiro because uh, the hotels are full, mm -hmm. for instance. Uh, people drink more, people eat more. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is related to this uh, three or four days of carnival. Yes. And so it, it's very good for the, for the economy of the mm -hmm. city. Besides being a, one of the tools of, let's say, the Brazilian soft power. Mm -hmm. So, of course, people do work during the uh, festival period or, or are many shops or companies closed? Yes, it's uh -huh. uh, holidays for those that are not uh, in, involved in, in, in carnival. Uh -huh. uh, but many people, mainly in the hospitality industry, they work very hard. Mm -hmm. it, it, for, for the hospitality industry, it's high season, mm -hmm. of course. Rio de Janeiro, the port city of Brazil. It is there that the world's biggest show, the Rio Carnival, is held. It boasts a huge scale of about 250,000 local tourists and another 60,000 tourists from around the world. Besides the festivals, there are plenty of other reasons to visit Brazil from breathtaking scenery, historic architecture, to the friendly locals and its food, Brazil has it all. Ambassador Luis Fernando Seda continues to introduce Brazil's culture and passion. Now, in the past, uh, especially among Koreans, Brazil used to be perceived as a country that's very far away. Um, but thanks to the changes, um, you know, now people's interest in traveling to Brazil is growing and growing, especially, in, I guess, uh, in South America, traveling to South America. Now, I understand that Brazil is the world's fifth largest country by area and population. <laughs> so there must be an unending number of things to see, places to go to. And I'd like to ask you uh, for your top three picks when it comes to uh, traveling around Brazil. Yes. <clears throat> well, indeed, we have some wonders of the nature. Mm -hmm. In the seven wonders, we have two. And these are really a must. The Iguazu Falls mm -hmm. and the Amazon Rainforest. Yes. And I would add my city, Rio de Janeiro, mm -hmm. which is considered one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So these three top uh, destinations mm -hmm. uh, have to be visited by Koreans. Uh, of course, we have 8,000 uh, kilometers of uh, seashore and many, many beaches, but I think that Koreans prefer nature to beaches. Oh. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Both? <laughs> maybe both? both? <laughs> okay. We have a lot of beaches uh -huh. too. Mm. Now, <clears throat> when we travel, uh, we can't leave out food. We almost always have to talk about food uh, when we talk about traveling to places. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'd like to ask you about some must-try authentic Brazilian dishes. Uh, food that people must have in Brazil before leaving Brazil. Any recommendations? Yes. Uh, well, here in Seoul, you have at least four or five uh, Brazilian steakhouses. Mm -hmm. And they are very good. Uh, I love all of them. And uh, there you can taste uh, the Brazilian steak, uh, the way we prepare it. Uh, but I, I, I have to say that uh, Beef is uh, something that is more common in our cuisine uh, from f 
from Rio to the south, Rio de Janeiro to the south. From Rio to the north, mm -hmm. uh, we eat more fish, and there are also many recipes. And in the heart of Brazil, mm -hmm. we eat more uh, pork, mm -hmm. also very good recipes. Do you, do you often cook in Korea Brazilian dishes? Uh, well, my my cook knows who is my cook is Korean, but uh -huh. she she learned uh, something of Brazilian cooking, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, we we do some some specialties uh, at home, mm -hmm. uh, but for for barbecue I go to the steak houses. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I see, because yes. I heard that at Brazil is. Um, uh, I guess <clears throat> known to be a barbecue champion, yes, a barbecue champion. So a lot of people must yes, like barbecues yes. and, and steak. And we we love steaks. Mm -hmm. uh, we have two hundred heads of cattle. Oh. So we have uh, a lot of beef in Brazil. Yeah. We are the number one exporter of beef in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we are negotiating with Korea to to lift the ban against our beef, uh, which was established in 1993. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, we love our beef. Uh, it's, um, it's something which is not very expensive because the offer is good. We mm -hmm. have 200, as I told you, 200 million heads of cattle. And so it, it's very popular in Brazil. Is there maybe an item that people could take with them that might come in handy when traveling in Brazil? Well, Koreans may may take uh, with them uh -huh. kimchi. Kimchi? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you not find kimchi you're, in Brazil? You are not Brazil? going to find kimchi in Brazil. Oh. <laughs> Maybe in the Korean district in Sao Paulo. Mm -hmm. Because Koreans uh, are concentrated in, in a district uh, in Sao Paulo called Bon Retiro. Uh -huh. um, I, I'm sure that there you, you'll find kimchi, but not everywhere. Mm -hmm. Is there something else that you would like to tell us about Brazil? Or well, to take Brazil? care also, um, the sun burns ah, in Brazil. Uh -huh. And uh, many people don't pay attention to that <laughs> and, and they, they get uh, Sunburned, really yes. very burned. Mm -hmm. Is there maybe a Korean culture that you would like to introduce to Brazilians? Well, I like your architecture. Uh -huh. uh, I like uh, the the handbooks mm -hmm. also, and uh, and I think uh -huh. that, I don't know if it belongs to Korean culture, but maybe it, it, it does. Uh, your cosmetic products oh. are very good. <laughs> I think that they have a good yes. market there. <laughs> yes, Korea is well known for our cosmetic products. Yes. We're, we're getting this answer from <laughs> Ambassador Seha. Yes, oh my uh, this uh, uh -huh. this cosmetic. Well, we are the the fourth or the third of the fourth largest market for cosmetics. Oh, I see. Yes, because uh -huh. we have two million, two hundred million people and half uh -huh. women. Yes. And they take care of yes. their um, beauty every day. Yes. So. Even men these days, um, you know, use a lot of beauty products or cosmetic, you mm -hmm. know, products um, because they, they seem to pay more attention to their skin. And they all so want to look good. Indeed, uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's, uh, it's a big market. Yes. Uh, Brazil is a big market uh -huh. and for these products. And I think that you have the best ones. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> is there maybe an item that you definitely will take with you uh, when you, I guess, return home um, from Korea? Packs, facial packs? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I like so many things uh -huh. that uh, maybe a container would, wouldn't be enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, I love your cars. Uh, uh, I love also your food, mm. uh, the handbooks. Uh, the, this uh, cosmetic products for, for ladies mainly. Yes. And your porcelain is also very nice. Mm. Uh, your celadon is great. So it's difficult to just difficult take to, one to, item to take with you. To choose one or two. <laughs> now, actually, I'd also like to uh, talk about this before we uh, share our goodbyes. You are actually the fourth in your family to serve as uh, the ambassador of Brazil to, to Seoul. 
um, correct me if I'm wrong, but two of your cousins were Brazilian ambassadors to yes. Korea, one from 2006 to 2009, and then before that from 1997 to 2003. Mm -hmm. And your uncle actually was the one that started it all for the family. Um, he served in Korea from 1973 to 1975. It is correct. Wow, and so you are the fourth in the family. I am the fourth, mm -hmm. and this is a very happy coincidence. Yes. And uh, I like to say that uh, the devil uh -huh. lives in the details <laughs> and God in the happy coincidences. Mm. That was a happy coincidence. Ah. Uh, and that's why Korea is in the heart of my, of my family since uh, 1973, because yes. of this uncle that uh, came to, to be ambassador uh, to Korea mm -hmm. on, on those days. And uh, from that day on, Korea is really in our heart, and we are always cheering for you. Mm -hmm. And it, we are very happy that in this uh, uh, 40-something uh, years, uh, you achieved so much. Yes, thank you. Um, I hope that your two cousins and uncle have great memories of Korea. Yes. And, uh -huh. and I read in an interview that you once gave, uh, you quote unquote said, when your uncle came to Korea in 1973, the country was completely different and that you heard stories, but it was another country. So it, it's different. transformed from what it was uh, in the last 30 years. What were your impressions of Korea before you actually came to Korea? Um, well, I was uh, following your progress uh -huh. uh, as a diplomat and as a friend of Korea. So I knew that uh, mm. you had transformed this mm -hmm. country into the 11th, 10th or 11th uh, economy mm -hmm. in the world. Um, it's amazing to see that uh, when my, my uncle came to Korea in 73, the only issue was immigration. Oh, I see. So, and this shows you how much you achieved. Mm. Instead of exporting people as you did in mm -hmm. the 70s, you are exporting high technology to Brazil now, yes. and this is something great. I would say that I was very happy to be ambassador in the only two countries that went from the third world mm -hmm. to the first world in 30 years, mm. Korea and Singapore. And I was very happy to be ambassador in both countries. Yes. Uh, I hope that you continue to make a lot of great memories, uh, just like your, your two cousins and uncle um, during your stay in Korea. I'd also like to ask you about perhaps the most memorable thing that happened during your position as ambassador to Korea. Is there something that... Well, I think that uh -huh. the most memorable was the inauguration of uh, the Brazil Hall. Uh -huh. Uh, we incorporated to our premises uh, 340 meters. Now we have 1,200 mm. uh, square meters uh, in a premium area in Changuadero, in front of uh, the palace. Yes. And so I have a beautiful view to the palace that inspire me, uh, inspires me every day. So, but I think that. Um, the, the, the moment uh, which I consider the, the most outstanding was the inauguration of this, uh, because I, of this hall, because I think that um, we put the embassy uh, and at another level, mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is the message I wanted since the beginning to show Korean friends, the importance that, that we attach to mm -hmm. Korea. And the message is sometimes the embassy. If you have a big embassy, yes. it means that the country that is hosting this embassy is important for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And this is the case exactly for Korea. I thought that we needed something to give a better impression of how important you are for us. Well, thank you so much for that message. Uh, I hope that a lot of people will have the opportunity or, or make the time to actually visit the Brazilian embassy uh, to I check out the Brazilian All of hall. you are invited yes. uh, to, to 
to visit the Brazil Hall. Mm -hmm. It's open even on weekends. And uh, we have this wonderful exhibition of Grandpa Chan, yes. <laughs> uh, who happens to be, as I told you before, mm -hmm. uh, a precious bridge between Brazil and Korea. Yes, and I'd like to thank you once again for joining us today thank and you, thank uh, you. congratulate you yeah. in advance uh, for the 60th anniversary. Lovely Coming to meet next you. Year. Thank you. Thank you.